Nowadays we are very much connected with our smartphone. In the morning we look for the smartphone before taking morning tea. Social media, work, entertainment, everything is connected in this little piece. Sending previous night work report or posting latest picture to Instagram, we do lot of things daily in our smartphone. For handling all the tasks, we use lots of apps and it requires RAM to run all the apps. But do you know how much RAM do you really need in your smartphone? Well, if you use your phone just for social media, watching media content or sending email purpose, then you need one kind of RAM or if you do lots of gaming in your smartphone, you will need different kind of RAM space. Well, let's clarify everything in this video. Let's talk about how much RAM do you really need in your smartphone in the third episode of Smartphone Matters. And you are watching Everything Smartphone. First of all, I should let you know how RAM works. RAM means Random Access Memory. It is one kind of memory but too much faster than a smartphone internal storage. So when you need to run app, it opens very fast. But how it works? Well, for different purpose, we install lots of apps in our smartphone. But we don't need to run all the application at a time. So the apps we install in our phone that's actually installed on the phone storage and it takes some space. And every time we run that app, it needs that memory to run. That memory comes from RAM. And when we close that app, it will erase data of that app from RAM and free space for the other apps. That's why it calls random access memory. When you are watching something on YouTube and got a new email, you need to open that email and read that, then come back and watch YouTube. So when you will read that email in your email app, RAM will keep running YouTube app in the background so that after finish reading your email, you can watch YouTube from where you left. By giving access to run multiple apps at a time, RAM makes that thing possible. According to your RAM size, you can open multiple apps at a time. Suppose you have a 4GB RAM, then you can run maximum 8 apps at a time that needs 500MB space to run for each. But not all apps need 500MB space. In fact, each and every app requires different memory space to run. Let's see what kind of application needs how much RAM to run. First, talk about the operating system. Your Android or iOS operating system needs 1GB RAM to run the system. So, if you are using a latest smartphone, then without installing any other app, you need at least 1GB RAM in your smartphone. Then come to everyone's favorite social media apps. Social media apps like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Reddit takes average 250 to 300 megabyte space of RAM to run. And messenger apps like WhatsApp, Emo, Viber, Facebook Messenger takes average 100 to 200 megabyte space. These apps are run in background always. If you have installed these apps, then after power on your smartphone, this app will automatically run in the background. So these apps will take space from RAM and you can't close this except uninstall them. And your regular media content watching apps like YouTube, Netflix, Spotify needs around 250 megabyte data in RAM. Let's talk about office related app. Email, Google Drive, Microsoft Office, this kind of apps needs average 150 megabit to run. And if you like to play games, then hold on tight and calculate this. Average game takes around 3 to 500 megabit. But popular games like PES, FIFA, Need for Speed, Call of Duty Mobile, PUBG Mobile needs 1 to 1.5 GB RAM to run. So, the final question is, how much RAM do you need? Well, if you are a normal user, do not use phone too much gaming or some heavy tasking, then you might need just few social media apps to run at a time, which will cost around 1.5 GB to run, and system will need 1 GB, and that time if you want to enjoy media content on YouTube or Netflix, then you need 300 megabyte more. If you want to stop YouTube and check email or receive call, then you will need 150 megabyte more. And if you want to play games sometimes, then it might be takes at least 500 megabyte. So running all these apps, you need around 3GB RAM space. But it is not ideal for always getting full of your RAM. So I recommend to have at least 10 to 15% free space in your RAM for all the time. So for normal users, I will say you need 4GB RAM in your smartphone. Then here comes the gamers. If you want to play some high-end games on your phone, then you will need extra 2GB RAM to your phone. So for gamers, I will say you need 6GB RAM in your smartphone. Then comes the heavy users. If you are heavy user and frequently switch apps and still want to run all the apps at a time and don't want to lose any data, then you need more space. According to what you are doing, 
you will need at least 8 GB of RAM in your smartphone. So, in final word, it was just an idea. If you have 4 GB RAM in your smartphone and still like to play some high-end games, that is not impossible. But simply you have to kill other apps to run high-end games smoothly. As I said earlier, which kind of apps requires how much RAM data? You can take an idea from that list and calculate how much RAM do you actually need in your smartphone. So, that is it guys. I hope now you can choose your next smartphone RAM correctly. If you enjoyed the video then please consider to press the like button and, and comments down below how much RAM do you have in your smartphone. And don't forget to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon to get future updates. Until the next time I am your host Omid signing out.